everyone, welcome back to part 21 of our single father challenge. So our family vacation has officially begun. I am so excited to be at a location other than our hometown, especially with everything that has happened, all the drama, all the incidents. It's just a really nice change of scenery and I think you guys would agree. But we are currently vacationing in Isle Paradiso. I think that's the official name for this town, but it's pretty much a huge island surrounded by water. Um, plenty of beaches and just an overall a very relaxing location which I think this family totally deserve. Plus, I'm pretty psyched to see what kind of surprises or adventure will this trip bring to our family. And on top of everything, surprisingly, this trip did not cost a fortune like I had originally assumed since we are paying for three sims, but we have more than enough money left over and we were able to rent out this really cute houseboat. It's pretty spacious, more than enough space for our three sims to uh, spend their next three days here. Alright, so with everything said, I did play off camera for a bit. I believe we left off the last part on a Thursday night and I played through most of Friday um, before making this trip here, excluding the Machinima clip, you know, where he did make a pit stop at the parents' house. You know, they both apologized to each other. Uh, they both were very understanding. And I think after this whole experience, Heath and his dad are much closer than ever. And the dad pretty much, you know, said, don't dwell on the past, let's move on with the future. But the sad thing was that Tessa was pretty disappointed that Tiffany could not join them on this trip, but she doesn't really know what's going on. We all know the truth. And we're still keeping Tessa, you know, under the wraps about mom's infidelity affair and whatnot and i think that would be for the best so you know it won't ruin her trip and i don't think tessa would understand to begin with even though she is a smart girl but these are pretty much adult problems uh, but besides that there were a few achievements such as tessa getting on the honor roll so she's pretty much set to get aged up. Heath did his uh, usual work, soft cases, and actually earned himself another promotion. So we're really getting close to maxing out his investigator career. And on top of that, Heath actually was awarded by City Hall for solving a really long open jewelry case. So I went ahead and pick up that award before making this trip. All right, so Without further ado, let's begin, or officially begin, our family vacation. So breakfast is served. Everyone's already in the bathing suit. You already know we are going to hit up the beach first. At least that's what Tessa really wants to do. She wants to build a sandcastle. She has never done it before. And um, I don't know what we're going to do next or what's going to be planned for this trip. We're just going to wing it. But definitely after... All the drama that has happened, things are going to slow down a bit. You know, I think I don't want to overwhelm you with too much drama. All right, I like how everyone is sitting separately. All right, so if you guys are familiar with this expansion pack, you already know this town does cause quite a lot of lag since it is a pretty large world. So if you guys see, you know, just random skipping, just overlook it. It's already expected. All right, so let's see, um, which beach can we hit up? Maybe possibly this one. This one, I think by far is the closest beach to us. But like I said, there are so many beaches. We'll probably visit about 50% of them. Um, you know, Tessa's not going to complain, nor is he because he loves fishing. So that would be kind of like killing two birds with one stone again. All right, let's go ahead and pick up our call, which is too late. Alright, you know what? Let's just um head straight for the beach. So I think I totally jinxed myself about the lag issue because just making the trip from our boathouse to the beach, I'm already encountering some major lag issues. So I'm assuming the next three days is not gonna be a smooth gameplay. And if you know the lag keeps persisting like this, I may just input a lot of machine limit clips for you guys, just the family doing activities together or what other surprises that may come. Um, but for now, we will play through the next hour just to see how things go. I really don't want you guys to suffer watching like a five second lag every other like 20 seconds if you guys know what i mean you may see it every now and then so you'll understand all right so right now tessa and titus are having so much fun playing in the sand they're building i guess sand snowman or sandman and 
obviously Tessa is trying to make a sandcastle which is not bad but it's a really good way for these two to bond as siblings and dad is just kind of off to himself which is understandable he's still feeling heartbroken he don't want to show his emotion and fishing is a way for him to kind of I guess to have his alone time get his mind straight or his mind clear but in a way, this is good because he does need to build up his fishing skill. He is really far away from maxing this. And, you know, it is part of the requirement to complete the single father challenge. So this will be a good way for everyone to have a good time and uh, just to kind of get things done for this challenge. Alright, so besides this, we'll probably um, head out for dinner instead of eating at home, check out the local restaurants and and try out, you know, some foreign food that they never had before. This trip just got really interesting, at least for Titus. He met a new friend, her name is Ramona, and she is a local here. Um, you know, she seems like an overall sweet girl, but at the same time, we don't really know anything about her. But it's nice to see Titus uh, socializing, and he hasn't really done much of that back at home, and those two just clicked. They immediately became friends. Seems like they have a lot of stuff in common, and I have a feeling that we will not be seeing much of Titus for the remainder of this trip. He seems pretty distracted with her. But it is nice to see Titus finally letting loose and not just being completely focused on schoolwork and homework and with college coming soon, this will be like a nice little break away from that. But anyways, uh, tonight or today is coming to an end, but we still have a little bit of time before turning everyone in for bed. So Heath decided to take Tessa out for a little fishing, a really nice way to do father-daughter bonding since Tessa do have an interest in fishing. And it's just so nice that we can fish on our front patio, not having to leave our lot. I wish we could do this at home, but Bowhouse do 
costs quite a lot, so they're gonna really make use of fishing. At least everyone kind of has something to do on their own. Um, no one will get mad for someone not being there. And uh, I don't know, I'm pretty excited to see what's gonna happen for the next two days. Alright, so with that said, I will be wrapping up this part here. Let me know in the comments below of your first impression on this Ramona person and could there be a possible relationship between her and Titus? Mm, who knows? <laughs> um, but like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And I will talk to you guys in the next part. Bye everyone!